Hello, Olivia here. In this video I'd like to show you a roll stretch technique to help you relax, release the upper traps, this part here where lots of people like to be massaged, a lot of people hold a lot of tension there. You don't want that. It's done in a lying down position and the only equipment you'll need is a hard ball. If you've only got a single ball that works well, but many of you I know have got one of these linked jewel balls. This works slightly better I find. Lie down on your back and place the ball on the upper traps. So the beauty of the jewel ball is that I can lie on there and I can wriggle around and it doesn't move at all. If it does I can easily hold onto the ball that's not that's protruding and I can hold it and get it in exactly the right position for me. So your ball's in place and we're going to have the arm on the same side out to the side like this to begin with. And then in order to get a little bit more sensation, start to raise the hips and press down through the heels so that you're really having the ball press in. Wriggle around, find a head and neck position that's comfortable and also because you're lying down the weight of the head is fully supported, it allows you to relax. And then we're going to start with some arm movements. First of all, internal and external rotation. Moving nice and slowly because you'll feel different tissues being pressed into. And it's also for you to find out which rotation movement gives you the best sensation. I find that as I move into part external rotation, so I haven't got this hand all the way down on the floor yet, that is the most sensitive spot for me. So I just pause there, relax, let the whole body go heavy, and breathe and relax deeply. Breathe deeply onto the ball. Then I'm going to lift the hips a bit more, and now I'm going to shift my hips towards camera, so towards this side that I'm working on, and that increases its sensation even more lift up a little bit higher and then I'm adding some rotations of the pelvis. As I lift this hip up it presses me onto the ball even more and I can drive that on by lifting this other shoulder off the floor. So now I'm really getting the ball pressing right into those tissues. Breathe, relax. So play around with those different parameters. I can lift the hips more, I can shift them more this way, I can rotate my shoulder and this hip further towards the ball. All of these techniques you need to move around to get the ball, in this case, to press into different tissues. Good. Something else you can then play with is explore movements of the arm across the body and up and around. So that's really intense right there. Up and around. Again, try different movements. Good, here's another one where I'm doing the internal rotation and then moving the elbow back. Lift the hips a little bit more, press a bit further to the side. And then, oh, nice little click there. And then to finish, let yourself settle and Wriggle that arm around. How does it all feel now? One more thing you can play with, with the hips down or rise them up again, raise them up, put an arm in the position. Then the very last thing you can do is add some neck flexion. If you need to reach around and help that movement, you can. But adding the neck flexion gives you yet another sensation to explore. Also, because my head is up and my ribs are off, now what I'm doing is trying to slide the rib cage sideways and that has yet another effect. Good. So have a play with that one, of course you do the other side and then once you've done both sides come up, move everything around and hopefully all of this area feels a lot more relaxed.